Welcome to day two of our 40 days of power as we dedicate this period to seek God's face, to pray, to intercede, to join our faith together and to see the power of God at work in our lives. I'm going to read from Mark chapter 12 verses 29 to 30. Jesus answered him, the first of all The commandment is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind and with all your strength. This is the first commandment. Many times when we fast and pray, we have a tall list of prayer items, the things we want God to do, some are very urgent, and we become so mindful of our need that we totally forget about the Lord. We think this is all about us and for us, but this is all about God and for Him. He is the center. So as we continue with our fast, remember, it's not just about your need and the answers to your prayer. It's about who is the center of this, and this is the Lord God. And so in this fast, we want to place first things first. We want to place God first. And as we pray and as we seek his face, let him be the focus of everything we do. For a moment, forget that you have a need. For a moment, forget that you have a prayer that has not been answered. For a moment, forget about the breakthrough you need. There will come a time for that, but... Listen to this, the Lord your God is one, and this is the first commandment. This is the most essential thing, to place God at the center of our effort and of our activities. Now, when you listen to the statement, it states with the phrase, hear, O Israel. It's talking to Israel and it's talking to all of us. That means pay attention, pay attention to what is being stated that the Lord God is one. We don't have to make anything our God. We don't even have to make our desires our God. We don't have to make the child we need our God. We don't have to make the, the marriage we want our God or the finances we need our God. Hear this, God is the center. The Lord your God is one and we must set our heart on him. And you have to serve him with all your heart and all your mind and all your soul and all your might. That means God wants total devotion. So on this second day of our 40 days of power, we want to focus our attention on the Lord. We want to bring our minds home back to the Lord. He is the reason why we are praying. He is the reason why we are fasting. He is the reason why we set these days apart. He is the reason why we do what we do. And I trust when we make him first, we enthrone him on our hearts as Lord, and he begins to work on our behalf. So before we present our request before the Lord, we want to pay homage to him. Tell him that you want him to be number one in your life. And let him take the seat as the king and the ruler of your heart. Join me in prayer as we pray together. Say with me, Heavenly Father, I devote myself to you. Be the center of my life. Rule my life. Lead me and guide me. In Jesus' name, amen. Let him be the number one of your life. Devote your life to him. And Pastor Mesa Otabel, shalom, peace, and life to you.